Let's talk solar. Solar simplified. Your tax credit didn't disappear. It evolved. So, you heard the residential solar tax credit expired and thought, well, that's it. I missed the boat. Plot twist, you didn't. There's still a really good tax credit available. And honestly, your options may be better than ever. Let's break it down. The 25D residential solar tax credit. Yep, that one's done. It allowed homeowners to claim 30% back when they purchased a solar system. But here's what nobody's talking about. There's a second tax credit that's still alive and well. Specialized business entities can claim that same 30% credit, sometimes up to 40 or 50% on residential properties, including yours. Then they pass on the majority of those savings to you. So how's this tax credit different? Well, they own the system for six years, but trust us, that's not as weird as it sounds. Meanwhile, let's take a look at your three options for going solar in 2026. Your three solar options, the actually helpful version. Option one, buy it outright, AKA the full price route. You own it from day one. You pay up front or finance it. The downside, no tax credit equals full price equals longer payback. It's fine if you're a control freak, but you're leaving a lot of money on the table. Option two, traditional lease or PPA, AKA rent to never own. Solar negotiators installs it, a third party owns it. You make monthly payments for 20 to 25 years. The downside, you never own it. Payments go up every year. Savings are meh. Predictable, sure. Exciting, not really. In your best interest, maybe for some people, but I'll get back to that in a minute. Option three, prepaid PPA, AKA the best of both worlds. This is the option everyone's choosing right now. And here's why. You sign up with Solar Negotiators for your system. A business entity steps in and claims the tax credit on that system on your behalf because you, as the homeowner, can't anymore. But instead of pocketing the savings, they share most of it, allowing Solar Negotiators to take that 30 or 40% savings right off the top of your project cost. If you don't want to pay cash, Solar Negotiators has some really attractive financing options that make your monthly payment lower than your previous power bill. Just to be clear, you never make a payment to this company that claims the tax credit on your behalf, and you enjoy all of the energy savings for each of those six years. At the end of year six, they transfer the ownership of the system to you, no strings, it's that simple. And you know what's interesting? This isn't new. It's actually been around for years for people who couldn't use the tax credit. But now, it's the smartest option for almost everyone. This might be a good time to do a side-by-side apples-to-apples comparison of all of your solar options in 2026 and beyond. Now, since we're talking apples-to-apples, apples, all three of our options here deliver the same energy savings you can expect when you go solar. Here's an example of a common customer scenario. The average yearly PG&E bill for a home in this area, about $6,200 go solar, that bill drops to about $500 a year. That's $5,700 in savings or more, assuming annual rate increases from the power company. You can count on those like the sun coming up in the morning. Your projected lifetime energy savings for this system, a whopping $182,600 over 25 years. Yep, $182,000 and change. That's the power bill saving side. Now let's look at the cost side. Here, we're showing an average solar system cost of about $50,000 for that kind of savings. And for purposes of comparing these three options. So again, option one, you buy your system outright at full price. No tax credit, no discount. You can finance or pay cash. It's still $50,000 plus the cost of interest if you finance. Option two, for that same $50,000 system leased over 25 years, you are paying $129,683 and you still don't own it. Hmm, that's a lot for a $50,000 system, like two and a half times more and no ownership. And then there's option three, Total cost of that system is still $50,000, but that business entity that claims the tax credit on your behalf shares most of that savings, so solar negotiators can take it off the top of your project cost. That's about $15,000 on this system for a net $35,000 total cost, cash or financed. Now, take your total savings on power bills. 
that's $182,600, and subtract the cost of your solar system, $35,000, option three. That means over the next 25 years, you'll avoid paying $147,600 to PG&E, even after your system has paid for itself through energy savings. And you own your system after six years. Option three is the clear winner. I know what you're thinking, but Chris, somebody else owns my system? We get it, sounds weird, but it's only for the first six years. And remember, if you still want full ownership up front, option one is there, it just costs more. Option three gets you to the same place, just cheaper and smarter. Looking to go solar in 2026 and beyond? Still totally worth it. The tax credit situation changed, but your savings didn't disappear. They just moved. Thanks for trusting us to walk you through it. Solar Negotiators, your lifetime energy partner and your tax credit protector. Go solar this winter and get up to $5,000 cash back. That'll cover months of last year's summer utility bills. That savings on top of tens of thousands of dollars of lifetime energy savings by going solar the right way. With us, Solar Negotiators, your lifetime energy partner.